Good morning, and welcome to this magnificent space. God said, let there be light, light, light. This auditorium has played such a significant role in the life of Mercy Girls since the day it opened. From Golden Mass, to Field Day and Spirit Days, to plays and performances of every kind. We've prayed here, we've been silly here, We've been inspired here, and we've been informed here. Today, we officially begin a new chapter in the history of the auditorium, thanks to the generosity of a Mercy girl from the class of 1961, Kathy Fonsignor Walgreen, and her husband, Charles Walgreen III. It's a real struggle to find the words to adequately express our gratitude to the Walgreens for making this transformation of this beloved space possible. One that honors the past and splendidly positions mercy for the future. Mrs. Walgreens' wish in giving this gift was to honor two sisters of mercy, both of whom taught Mrs. Walgreen when she was here as a student, Sister Mary Bryan Ford, and Sister Mary Dismas Foster. Sister Brian is surely smiling down on us as we have from her heavenly home. And we are truly honored that Sister Dismas is with us this morning. We are excited that this newly renovated space will continue to be the setting for our acting, our singing, our dancing, our playing, and our praying. It seems that some place that we all gather, it makes it so much nicer and that it is just a well-deserved community space that really needed some love. And so we pray, may the God of history continue to unite us with all those Mercians who have graced this stage over the years. And may the spirit of those women inspire us. And so we pray, May the God of song continue to fill this stage with melodies that lift spirits, acting that inspires, and dance that gives praise. And so we pray, may the God of music continue to sing through trumpet, lyre, harp, and drums, continue to guide and challenge us in our call to be disciples of Christ. It's a bright spot, and it's a beautiful spot, and it's warm, and it's clearly, uh, you know, prepared for us because of people who love and care about Mercy and care about the students in the past and in the future. I'm a third-generation Mercy girl, so being able to sit in these seats um, where my grandmother and aunts and mother actually sat too is really special, and having this rejuvenated space um, where we can practice our traditions that have been here for years and really share um, our, the same special Mercy experiences as uh, the generations before us is really special. And so we pray together. O oh God, from whom all blessings flow, we praise and thank you for the incredible gift of this beautifully renovated theater. We are grateful for all those who made this renovation possible. As we look ahead, we know that the light of our past blesses our future. May it be a future filled with hope for Our Lady of Mercy's glory. We clap our hands in praise. Amen. We all felt that little feeling inside of wonder and awe. I know I've seen the auditorium before today, and even just the whole atmosphere of everyone together with all the donors, all the people who put their hard work into this, it truly made it an amazing experience that I think all of us will remember forever. Let's start.
started so long ago. It was already here, and then they built it back up again and made it even more beautiful again. It makes it makes it brings out who we are as a, as students and as a community. Also, like, in our like as Miss Sister Pat said, we pray there, we perform there, yeah. we share stories, we do what we have fun days there. It's just a place of community and happiness. Now I invite you to stand and sing the alma mater. I graduated in 41, 1941. Then my first year in the convent in 1941, September, they dedicated the original auditorium. And we were thrilled. It was so beautiful and so wonderful. And now, I don't know how it could be more beautiful, but it is. It was the heart of the school, not just for me, but for everyone. And to see it the way it was a couple of years ago, I was crying. And to see it today, it's now back, and it's the heart again. And that makes me feel good. And people have thanked me, but I thank God that I'm able to give.